What's up, everybody? John English here with the Vapor Watch. We're going to look at the Drip Box 160 by Kanger Tech. This was sent to me by evcigarettes.com. You can buy these over there. I'll have links in the description down below where you can pick this up over at evcigarettes.com. Again, remember, if you sign up for their emails, uh, their email list, they can they will send you discount codes on a regular basis. Just about every weekend, they've been sending discount codes out where you can get something to do with juices, something to do with uh, devices or whole site discounts. And it's on a regular basis. It's literally like every weekend they're sending something out uh, so that you can buy these things, you know, usually on the weekends, but every once in a while, holiday sales, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So thank you, Jay, for sending this for the purpose of a review. They also sent me some juice, uh, a lot of juice actually, that I need to get to on, on a regular basis here. Uh, they did send me I Love Donuts. This is, what is this? The Vape Fresh Daily I Love Donuts. And uh, they also sent me uh, I Love Cookies. So I Love Cookies and I Love Donuts. And this is Mad Hatter Juice Company uh, that, that I believe makes this stuff. And it comes, it's got an expiration date on, on the side right there. You can't really see it. Uh, expiration date comes in these glass bottles. I believe these are 30 mil bottles and it comes with the glass droppers, childproof caps comes with wrapped in plastic around the lid there uh, in case you, uh, you know, you have children around or whatever. Also, you don't want pets to get into it as well. Uh, you know, some, some of these pets are pretty smart. We just got two new kittens. They are very crafty, but what we're going to talk about mostly is this Kanger drip box, 160, 160 watt device. It is a squonker. It is my first squonking device. It's the first one. I I was going to buy the original drip box, but I just never got around to doing it because I kind of wanted to try squonking, but I don't want to blow a lot of money on it. And that's kind of what this is good for. If you don't want to blow a lot of money on some of the really high-end squonking devices, but you always wanted to try it to see what the, the hubbub is all about, this would be a damn good deal here. I'll show you in the up close and personal, but it's really easy to fill this thing. Only really a couple of downsides to this uh, device that I found so far, mostly aesthetics. Uh, I don't like these. I don't like the black and red. I don't like the red buttons because the buttons are plastic. If this thing had stainless steel buttons, it would change. I think it would change the whole dynamics of it. I think it would look really, really sharp with the uh, stainless steel buttons. I really, really do. Or just have them all blacked out. And then you have a whole blacked out device. I think that would look better than this. And that's just my personal preference. Uh, but personally, I think it would look like a more high-end device. It would look it would look less like a cheap device, and it just kind of looks cheap to me. Now, the white one seems to look a little bit better because it has black buttons, so it kind of looks better, at least from what I've seen. It, looks, it just looks a lot better. Uh, the other thing, too, is I wish the uh, 510 was set back a little bit further and the RDA was a little bit bigger, like maybe a 25 millimeter, uh, something where I could put 25 millimeter, other 25 millimeter devices on. Uh, also, the drip tip on the RDA is non-removable. It's it's all part of the airflow. It's just one piece. I don't like that. Um, other than that, you know, and also the door down here, this little door, this magnetic door that comes off where you pull your bottle out. And now I'm having a hard time getting it off, but uh, which is a good thing, I guess, so it won't fall off. Uh, but yeah, so see, it's just that the door comes completely off. I don't like that. I wish it was hinged. I wish that was hinged. That's really the only three cons that I have about the device. Because to be honest, this thing vapes really, really nice. The flavor I'm getting off of this, really, really good. I haven't had the spit back, the popping that uh, I know Phil Bassardo has reviewed this. And I have a link to his video because he does all that runs all the numbers on this thing. Uh, so I'm not going to run all the numbers on it. But, uh, you know, he was experiencing some like it was popping uh, hot juice out of these, you know, out of the airflow holes here. I I've had it happen maybe once I, you know, kind of, it wasn't all that bad. The menu is super simple on this thing. Super, super simple. You do have stainless steel. You've got nichrome temp control. Uh, you've got all of that. It works pretty well. It's not perfect, but it works pretty well. Um, you know, the wattage, it's a dual 18, 650 device. So it should be able to hit that 160 Watts pretty damn close to it. Uh, again, I think if you watch Phil's video, he goes over all that. Uh, but, you know, as far as that, you know, it fits, it's it's kind of big, it's kind of fat and chunky, but I like it. I've got big hands, so it fits, you know, it's fine for me. I've actually taken, this is the first RDA that I've actually taken to work with me and used uh, because I just don't like using RDAs at work. It just does, I just, I'm afraid it's going to leak and, you know, just 
I'll get all over the place. And tanks are just easier for me to use at work. But I use this at work. I actually took this to work and liked it. It actually worked really, really well. Because, like I said, well, all you got to do is squish, 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 or just a long squish. And then you'll hear like a sucking sound. You'll hear the juice being sucked back down the excess. And then you know you're ready to rock and roll. Flavor is really, really good. Uh, I, I can't say enough about the flavor. It really, really is amazing. And if you want to get the pre-made coils that they are pre-wicked, you can buy those separately and then you can just swap out the decks. That's it. You just swap out the decks or you can rebuild the one that's in here now. Without further ado, let's go up close personal, check this thing out and then come back. I'll give you my final thoughts. All righty. Here we are up close and personal with the drip box 160 by Kanger tech, the squawker type situation, I guess from Kanger tech. I don't know why they put this on TC 160 MTL and DL or is that DL? Uh, yeah, DL. So mouth to lung, direct lung. I don't know why they even put this on there. I just, I don't know. Uh, but they did. And that's just the way it is. Now this box is gigantic. I'm trying to get it all in on my up close deal here. Uh, the kit contains a sub drip 160 drip mod 160 DIY drip base replacement drip coil. Uh, extra juice tank, accessory pack, USB cable for charging. Uh, it does not, as far as I know, it doesn't do updates. There's no updates. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't, I don't think there is. And then you have a manual. Uh, keep out of reach of children. Obviously, do not use the drip box 160 if you're under the age of 18. Do not vape the drip box 160 more frequently. I don't know what that means. Uh, colors, black, white, silver. We do have the black one here. Obviously, you see the little check mark there. Uh, designed and manufactured by Kanger, uh, blah, 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 all that other good stuff. Copyright, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Shenzhen Kanger technology made in China. Of course, there's your uh, authenticity sticker you're going to have there. And on the front, you're going to have your Jetbox 160 starter kit and the picture. Uh, again, this is a gigantic box. And that's why it's having such a hard time. It does, it, and it does only go on one way. You see that little foam pad in there? Uh, it is designed to, to fit right here in this uh, open space here, and it does fit nicely. You could use this as a stand. I mean, you really could. Uh, here is your uh, packaging. This is all your extra goodies you're gonna have in here. It does give you quite uh, a bit of, quite a few, th it does give you quite a few things in here. Uh, everything but batteries, really. I mean, the batteries and juice. I mean, there's every pretty much everything you need. Uh, a little bit of a pain in the butt to get out uh, because this foam is just shoved in here so tight. Uh, uh, we're just going to have to go from the other end and push it. So that's probably the easiest way. Open up both ends. And then this slides right out. You've got your manual here, and then you have your extra coil head here. Uh, what's nice about it, I guess, if you don't want to build, you just screw out the old coil head, and you screw this one, as, as you can see. You, know, you see the threading and all that. Threading is, you know, so-so. It's, it's not too bad. We might keep that out. We might change out the coil, and maybe not. I don't know. Uh, then you have an extra set of coils here. So you've got some uh, Clapton, clapton -y type coils. You have your uh, Allen key. You've got some extra parts, spare parts here. That's like a little spit, spit back protection deal there uh, that kind of works, kind of doesn't. And then you've got some cotton there. I, I don't know. I never used it. You've got your USB. You've got your spare bottle, which nice about the spare bottle. I really like this idea. Uh, you have a spare bottle with a little cap on here. Uh, you just fill it up, you know, squirt some juice in there. And if you want to change juices or whatever, or just carry extra juice, uh, you would just have this bottle right there. Very, very nice. I like that. Very, very nice. I believe 10 milliliters. Is it right? 10 milliliters juice. I believe that's right. It holds 10 mil of, uh, uh of juice right there in there. And then of course, you know, it's, it's squishy. It's, it's, it's plasticky and squishy. And then, uh, you know, that's that. So let's take a look at the mod and again. Uh, if you just wanted to use this as a, you kind of use this as a holder, if you want to throw it on your desk and uh, you're going to have that. You could take that off, I guess, and you could have this. You could just have a nice little setup, you know, like so. I got a feeling Mike Vapes probably uses his as a holder on his desk. Uh, but anyway, uh, here is the, uh, we're going to take this off. Let's just take this off. This is the the RDA, Rebuildable Dripping Atomizer. Of course, I've got some juice in there. There's some juicy, juicy, juicy in there. Uh, let's just kind of wipe this off a little bit. You do have stainless steel threading inside there. And as you can see, your squonk pen, uh, the juice does flow up through that little hole there in, in the, the center of the 510 connection. 
that's how let me wipe this of course in the center there you can see your little hole that's where the juice flows up from when you squeeze the little bottle we'll just squeeze it i think i've got some juice in there see that as you squonk it it just feeds right up in there so very very cool you've got battery venting here on the sides and of course you have your buttons uh plasticky buttons uh, now i hear the white one i think looks probably better because it's white with black buttons i just don't like the red buttons i don't know what it is and there's your usb port up and down of course you got plus and minus uh, your screen we'll show you a little bit about the screen here in a second and of course you got the king or tech logo there then you've got Dripbox 160 kind of etched in you can kind of see it kind of not and you've got some screws here if you want to take this thing apart and uh i'm i'm hesitant about turning this thing over it's probably going to leak juice in there uh on the bottom here you're going to have this is where you put your batteries in some information designed by kanger tech as you can see right our design and manufactured by kanger and then in order to access the batteries you just kind of there's a little grab those little knurlings and just pop it right open uh, you're going to have your plus and minus on your battery door which is always nice and i don't know what this is silver plated i believe silver plated you can see down in there your positive con or well positive and negative contact i believe also silver plated and then you have this little uh this is your little spring loaded feature here that's what causes the door to go up and down and uh you know it's it's a little stiff it's not floppy so you know that's kind of a good thing it's not it doesn't just flop around it is kind of held out in place so then obviously we're going to throw our batteries in here we're going to have this was a negative side so we want our negative side up like so and then then this is going to have your positive symbol here so we want our positive battery uh positive side of our battery up and then you just press this down and just kind of uh pull back see a little see if we can see it see it it moves like that that's how it goes back down and press it down just make sure it's on there really nice as soon as you put the batteries in uh, we are live and ready to fire on this thing in your basic wattage mode you're just going to be able to adjust your your wattage up and down uh, if you hold it down it goes in one watt increments like so all the way up to 160 watts not the fastest in the world not eh, not the slowest either and then of course you go down all the way to let's see what it goes down to and if you wanted to adjust it in uh, 0.1 increments you would just uh, tap the button one at a time but once you hold it down it does go in one watt increments so it makes it a little bit faster it does accelerate just a tad down to seven watts so seven watts to 160 watts now it does have temperature control as well and to get into your temp control menu one two three that's going to go to your nickel as you see up here at the top it says nickel and you're in fahrenheit 380 degrees fahrenheit uh, you have your wattage down here that's the wattage that's going to apply to get to this temperature and then you would have your resistance now if you don't have an atomizer like we don't obviously have an atomizer uh, it's going to read 9.99 i think it should just have lines through it or zeros or something that doesn't make any sense and then your battery indicator uh, right there all the way to the left and if we hit it, the button fire button three more times one two three that's going to get us into the titanium so titanium mode everything else is going to stay the same and then one two three you have nichrome so this is one of the few mods out here that has a built-in nichrome feature so if you use nichrome wire there you go you got it one two three and then you have stainless steel i don't know why it says sus that whatever and then one two three would put it right back into wattage mode so let's go into uh let's just go into nickel mode i'm not running nickel coils or anything uh but let's just say we want to adjust our temperature obviously you just hit the up button if to, to go up that's what you're going to do and it goes up to 600 degrees does not round robin and then you have to go back down uh, just hit the down button i'll speed this up now here's the issue with the menu i do not like uh, i did end up going too far and once you go down below to the lowest setting it just round robins into celsius but it doesn't round robin going up so let's go so we're still in Celsius, 100 degrees Celsius. If you, it was 100 degrees to I believe 315 degrees Celsius. Now it, once you hit the down button again, now it goes into 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and again, let's go down. I'm gonna, I'll speed this up until we get down to three. It does go in 10 degree increments if you hold the button down. So it's not. I guess it's not too bad. I guess I should have just left it the way it was. And then you go down to. 290, 289, 270. Is it two? No, still doesn't have it. Still in Fahrenheit. 210. 
maybe it's 200 degrees. So 200 degrees. Oh, okay. So now we're at, the, we're at the bottom of the Fahrenheit scale. And then once you hit it down again, you've got 230 degrees Celsius, which then you can go back up to, I believe the 315. Yeah. 315. Uh, but it doesn't, it doesn't round Robin. It doesn't round Robin up. So you always have to go uh, use the down button to get to the, you know, get into your next Celsius or whatever. You should be able to switch that without having to worry about it. And then now we're back up into Fahrenheit again. So let's just jack this back up. Uh, well, so that's, that's how you do that. Now, if you hold the plus and minus uh, together, it's going to flip the screen plus and minus together, flip the screen plus button, power button at the same time. It's going to change the background. So it changes. It just, it just flips the contrast, uh, one way or the other. And you can flip it again, just flip it back. Minus button and power button at the same time does nothing. As far as that goes, one, two, three, four, five, it's going to shut it off. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you do have to have this lit before you hit the five. So it's really six to, to turn it back on. So hit the button off one, two, three, four, five. Then you get King or tech and it just jumps right into the regular mode or, you know, use, you can use it right away. Uh, again, USB port there, which is basically, I guess for charging, uh, because there is no updates. There is no updates on this thing. Uh, I would not suggest charging the batteries in any mod, you know, most of them, most of them. Uh, I have actually have pretty good luck with the uh, Fuchai 213. It does charge relatively fast because it is a two amp charge. Uh, so let's look at the RDA section. I'm going to go ahead and screw this in. Again, this all comes with the kit. Everything you see here, it comes with, uh, with the exception of the batteries. Uh, you just pop this off here. This is going to be your airflow. As you can see, your airflow right there, you just kind of turn that. Whatever you have here is going to have here. Now, you see this little dot right here? This is for your mouth to lung. That's why they put MTL there uh, for your mouth to lung, but you still really can't get a good mouth to lung hit off this thing. It's not bad, uh, but for those of you out there that use mouth to lung on a regular basis, uh, it's probably not going to be what you want it to be. And this does not, this drip tip is all, it's all one piece. So it's just, it is what it is. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this is the, the build that came in, in the, in this thing. And in order to change this build, uh, you would just unscrew. You just kind of hold the sides of your RDA base. Just kind of hold the sides and just unscrew it like so. It just unscrews. You see that? And then that's where the juice kind of feeds up through. See the base in there? The juice kind of comes up through all these little holes right here. Tighten that back down. And then you would just put in the new coil. And this is still a great coil. This thing is still rocking, so I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to put the new one in yet, but that's how you would do it. Or you could just rebuild it. I mean, it's kind of a smaller deck. Uh, it, you know, a little, not a, not a ton of room to work with. Uh, you could just put a smaller, uh, you know, put a different coil in there. I don't, I don't know what do you, whatever you guys want to use. Uh, you do have triple O rings here. So very nice. It does fit nice and snug on here. Uh, very, very simple, easy, you know, velocity style deck. So it's, you know, pretty easy to build on and you would just tuck your cotton down inside there. Uh, like if I can get it down and I'm going to have juice all over me. And of course, when you want to squonk, I don't know if I can get it to show up. If you, if you look closely, you'll see the juice come in. See it right there. Uh, when you get dry, start to get a little dry and you will know when it's getting dry, you just hit the little squonker like so and uh, push this juice up. So that's, that's pretty much it as far as that goes. Uh, to change out the bottle here on the bottom, uh, you would just, uh, this is the other part I don't like about it. Uh, probably one of the two things I really don't care for on this device. And, uh, it's this door that comes completely off. I don't like that. Uh, you've got two giant magnets. It does hold it off. I haven't had this thing fall off yet. Uh, in order to change out your juice or bottle, you just pull that down like so. And then you would just, uh, you just squirt right in there, fill it up and push it right back in there. Now you're going to probably see this thing leak. When you take this juice bottle out, you want to set this on a rag, some kind of rag, napkin, whatever, uh, because it will leak. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to let it drip and I'm going to show you that you see that nice, fresh little juice there. 
uh, it will leak on you. So just make sure you have it setting on some kind of rag. Then you just push it up in there and you're ready to squawk. You're ready to go again. And uh, make sure you wipe off any excess juice, anything like that. And I've got this thing all nice and juicy. And of course, when you're done, you just put that on there and you're good to go. So that's pretty much it. There's really not much more to do with this mod. Um, I've, I've honestly, the flavor on this, on these builds they have in here are really good. I mean, I, I have to say it. They're really, really good. I can't complain at all. Um, really these buttons, uh, are the one thing. And then this door down here at the bottom are the two things that I just don't absolutely don't like about this. Everything else, the vape quality, the, uh, uh, everything else about it is just super, super nice. I mean, I, I can't complain. I really can't complain. So it's really aesthetic uh, issues uh, that bother me about this. Everything else, the vape quality, the ease of use. This is my first squawker. I love it. It's, it's just been really, really nice. Now, as far as the size goes, it is a little bit big. It's a little bit bigger uh, than some, the, the we're lower. It might be a little smaller. Uh, here's the Movekin. I just got this Disguiser V2 in. And as you can see, it's kind of, let me put this, make, make sure the shapes are about the right size. Uh, the disguiser is quite a bit bigger. Um, yeah, it's it's bigger for sure. And then the Relo, I believe the Relo might be a little bit smaller. A little bit, just kind of give you a nod. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller. So the Relo is just a little bit smaller. Uh, they're about the same height. So yeah, roughly about the same height. And of course, the 510s are on opposite sides. But other than that, you know, it's it's pretty much pretty much the same size, but it's uh, the reload is a little bit thinner here, you know, right here on the sides. That's pretty much it. So there you have it. The drip box 160 by Kanger. I think it's an awesome, awesome little device, if, especially if you're looking to get into squonk, squonking and don't want to spend a ton of money on, on a lot of the squonking devices out there are kind of custom made and they're, you know, really, really nice devices, but they're a lot of money. These things really reasonably priced. And if you want to try it, this would be a damn good one to try. So there you have it. Drip box 160 by Kanger tech. Let's take it back up top. Vape this sucker and get out of here. Man, oh man, man, oh man. It is really, really good flavor on this. I just cannot say enough about the flavor. Now, what I'm probably going to do along, you know, along the way sometime is probably buy a squonking RDA uh, or an RDA with squonking capabilities and maybe try different RDAs. But now I'll be able to do it. You know, I have this uh, nice little device here with the exception of the red buttons or red plastic buttons. That's really, you know, the aesthetics, all my negatives are aesthetics. It's pretty much aesthetics except for this little battery, you know, the, the magnetic door at the bottom. Uh, everything else is good. I, I like the device. I really, really do. Uh, for my first squonker, you know, it kind of introduces me into it. It could introduce you into it as well. Uh, would I buy it for the price? Yeah, I think I would. I think I definitely would. And I actually had plans to do so until Jay was nice enough to send me one. So go over to evcigarettes.com. Pick one of these up if you want to. Also, the I Love Donuts, awesome, awesome flavor. And the I Love Cookies is just really, really good. Matter of fact, let's just go over to the website and we'll check that out right now. So to go to, in order to get into this evcigarettes.com, you want to click on Mad Hatter e-liquid. Uh, just click on that one, and that's going to give you all the Mad Hatter uh, flavors that are that are available. And we actually have uh, three of them. He did send me three of them. Uh, I'm actually going to use the I Love Taffy, which is a peach taffy. Uh, I'm going to be using that in a different video, probably the Nautilus X video. So be looking for that. And then also we got the Mad Hatter Eliquid I Love Cookies, $19.99 for a 30 mil bottle. You know, a little bit on the pricey side, but it is a premium e-juice. Uh, it does come, they do come in cardboard boxes. So here's the box for the I Love Cookies, kind of kind of a milky type carton type deal. That's what that comes in. And then the I Love Donuts comes in this. Uh, but the flavor profile, well, first of all, you can get the nicotine is 0, 3, 6, and 12. And uh, I guess you can, you can get the uh, I Love Cookies in 120s. Uh, 120s for 65 bucks, 64.99 is what they cost and that is the i love cookies uh, freshly baked sugar cookies with notes of sweet yet tart strawberries and ooey gooey caramel is what gives this juice its signature deliciousness and it is 70 30 blend uh, i can tell you right now it is on the thicker side of 70 30. Um, it's not it's not super overly thick or whatever but it but it is you know it's pretty thick be careful 
of uh, what devices you use it in. But the flavor is really, really good. The sugar, you can definitely taste the sugar cookies and the strawberry, just a little hint of the strawberry in there. And it is super, super good. And then let's also go to the I Love Donuts, also $19.99 for a 30 mil bottle, also $64.99 for a 120 mil. And again, same nicotine strength, 036. Uh, oh, they're out of 12. So you cannot get 12, mil, uh, 12 milligram in the I Love Donuts. They are out of those. Uh, but the uh, flavor profile, who doesn't love donuts? That is aside from the empty calories. Instead of filling your tummy with needless carbs, fill your lungs with deliciousness. I Love Donuts takes all of the yumminess from delectable fresh blueberries and warm aromatic donuts and bottles it up for you to enjoy without any of the calories. And that is true. You can definitely taste the blueberry flavor in there. It just tastes like a blueberry donut. It really, really does. It's just really awesome. Uh, I'm actually running some of it in here right now, and it is just, it's beautiful. Vapor production is really good, and the flavor is just really, really super smooth. I really, really do like it. I definitely suggest it. Again, kind of on the higher end when it comes to the 30 mil bottles, $19.99, but not bad. It's not bad. It's not a bad price. Again, it's premium e-juice. It's really, really good premium e-juice. Uh, so there you have it. I love donuts, and I love cookies by Mad Hatter e-liquid. Get that over at evcigarettes.com. I'll have links in the descriptions for each device or each item that I talked about in this video down below. Look down below, click on more, and it drops down and you'll see all the other information. Also the advocacy links. Please go check out some of the advocacy links. See what's going on. Fight for your right to vape. This is far from over. We've got a long road ahead of us. And uh, HR 2058, the Cole Bishop Amendment, tell your representative to support those two and let's fight for our right to vape so that we'll still have devices like this around in the near future. I'm John English. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real, real soon with another review.